let's revisit go socks or actually go into a little bit more detail with go socks if you remember go socks stands for gaps occurrence shape outliers center and spread so let's just analyze or let's let's describe this histogram using go socks that's one thing that you're going to be asked to do on tests and quizzes and the AP test or wherever you are asked to describe a distribution and we've used this example uh, throughout all of these videos with quantitative data so let's continue let's look at this first of all let's go with gaps so I'll describe this G4 gaps I would just say well there's a gap right here between 60 and 65 there were no home run leaders from 60 to actually this is 64 okay so I've just described the G of go socks were there any gaps so there it is all right well now I want to describe the next one which is occurrence in other words uh, the mode okay we would say that this one is mm, probably we could say that this is unimodal unimodal because there is only one peak now, if we had a different display that had more than one peak, we could call that bimodal or multimodal. But this has one peak, so we would say that this is, if we were describing its occurrence, it is unimodal. All right, let's move on to the next thing to describe, which is its shape. And now I'll go into more detail about shape in one of my other videos, but this one appears, if I were to draw a curved area to this, I start low here on the left hand side and then it peaks right away and then it kind of goes like this, kind of like a slide down here to the right. Okay, This one I would describe as skewed. In fact, since the tail goes over here to the right hand side, we say that this is skewed right. We'll look at some other examples of, of shape uh, when we focus on shape in one of the other videos. Let's continue. I've said that a couple times now, so I'll get to it as you go through the presentations. What about outliers for our next go? An outlier is a value that is a lot different than the other ones. So you may think well, maybe the 70 and the 73 is an outlier, but there were two in this category. An outlier kind of stands out by itself, and it's very far away from the rest of the data. So in this case, I would say that there are no outliers. Now, if I had somebody, if somebody along the line hit 100 home runs in a season, I would definitely call that an outlier. Okay, let's continue. Now we go to the center. We're actually going to focus on the center and the different ways to describe that um, in another chapter. We're in chapter four right now. So I would just say the center is near 45 home runs. That's all I need to say right now. But again, we're, we will we, we'll focus a lot more on how to, de to describe the center in the future. And then finally, we've got the last one here, which is the spread. Um, spread is going, most of the time the spread is going to be described numerically. So that's another thing that we're going to describe in the future. So we'll just put to be announced for right now. But if we were to describe the spread, there are some numerical ways to describe the spread of a distribution. So spread and center are two things that we're going to focus on um, later on but you should be able to describe the shape, talk about any, you should be able to talk about any gaps. You should be able to describe the occurrence. Is it unimodal, bimodal? You should be able to describe the shape. Is it skewed or is it normal shape or bell shaped? 
Um, you should be able to, to tell me if there are any outliers. But center and spread, for right now, we'll save that for a later time to focus on.